Yo, yo, my good friends, it's Cory from Super Kami Guru 9000, and welcome back to Pokemon Month! Just when you thought you caught them all, Nintendo delivered unto us the portable money making machine, the Nintendo DS. And it was not long until the next big Pokemon game arrived. The fourth generation games, Diamond, Pearl, and later Platinum, left a massive impact on the series. The dual-screened adventure featured a slew of new legendary Pokemon and evolutions of some fan favorites from the past. So let's begin, shall we? Let's count down my top 10 favorite Pokemon from Generation 4. <laughs> Every main game in the series ups the ante when it comes to ghost Pokemon. And that brings us to Rotom, the electric ghost with the power of possession. This little lightning apparition has the unique skill to possess the motors of electrical appliances. Not only will its form change, but it'll also gain a new typing. It can become a washing machine, a microwave, a refrigerator, a fan, and my personal favorite, a lawnmower, which makes him into an electric grass type. Beware of this puny plasma Pokemon, he might be possessing your appliances as we speak. In Generation 1, I loved electric type Pokemon, but I hated Magneton. I didn't like its boring design, which was just three Magnemites glued together. However, in Generation 4, many old Pokemon got new evolutions, and thank Arceus, Magneton became the flying saucer of doom Magnazone. Now that's more like it. Magneton will evolve into this tanky steel electric type when it levels up in a specific location with high levels of magnetism. With bulkier stats and a more unique look, Magneton became one of my favorite electric types. The starters of Gen 4 were a mixed bag for me. I like Piplup, but I didn't care for his evolutions. Infernape was cool, but he was just another Blaziken to me. And that left me with Turtwig, who, despite his cute appearance, evolves into the massive grass ground type, Torterra. I love this guy. Definitely one of the best grass starters of the series. This walking continent is so large that smaller Pokemon actually live on its back and even build their nests there. Torterra is also a fierce Pokemon with bulky stats, just like his Gen 1 cousin, Venusaur. And he also features a unique type combination that belongs only to him. In Generation 1, Rhydon was one of the most physically imposing Pokemon. In Generation 4, Overkill is the name of the game when Rhydon received a new evolution, which turned him into the superior Rhyperior. This is like adding a rocket launcher to a tank. It really wasn't needed, but holy crap, Rhyperior's design is so awesome. It really does turn into a tank with extra armor and a club tail. It can even fire rocks and living Geodudes from its fist. Let me repeat that. It fires Geodudes from its fists. <laughs> I think that Generation 4 had some of the best ice types ever introduced into the game. Combine that with unique typing and you get the shaggy grass type, Obama Snow. If he didn't always look so pissed off, I would just want to give him a huge hug. This abominable beast is a master of its icy domain and can even create blizzards with ease. When it mega evolves, the blooms on its back erupt into massive icy spikes and it grows larger and even shaggier. I also love this guy because he looks a lot like the Daikon Radish Man from Miyazaki's Spirited Away. When I first saw this Pokemon, the first thing I thought was, Wow, that is the coolest looking ghost Pokemon I have ever seen. To my surprise, the legendary Pokemon Darkrai was in fact a pure dark type Pokemon. This mysterious Pokemon not only has a nightmarish appearance, but Darkrai pride themselves on their nightmare-inducing skills. On moonless nights, Darkrai will make people suffer from horrific nightmares. Is Darkrai evil or misunderstood? This is something the anime has tried to convey, but even now, Darkrai remains one of the most mysterious Pokemon in existence. The mascots of Generation 4, Dialga and Palkia are pretty awesome, 
but they were both pushed off this list by their ghostly rival, Giratina. This ghost dragon features one of the most intimidating appearances in the entire series, and looks like something out of a Godzilla movie. Featuring two unique forms and the ability to travel through various dimensions, Giratina is a demonic Pokemon of epic proportions. It also has its own unique move called Shadow Force, the most powerful ghost-type attack in the game. If you thought a Sharknado was bad, wait until you see its Pokemon interpretation. I'm talking about Garchomp! This shark, dragon, jet plane looking Frankenstein creation is monstrous. Simply monstrous. This dragon ground type can fly at sonic speeds and can mega evolve into the sharper and more deadly Mega Garchomp. So let's get this straight. It's a hammerhead shark mixed with a dragon and a fighter jet. Adding scythe blades makes perfect sense, right? As much as I love Electabuzz from Generation 1, I also love his Evolution Electivire just as much. With twice the firepower and even more moveset possibilities, this bulky electric Sasquatch might be my favorite electric Pokemon ever. Its new design features two tails, which it uses to attack opponents with over 20,000 volts of power. Electivire charges into battle recklessly and loves the thrill of battle. That makes this bruiser a real threat on the battlefield. My number one favorite Pokemon from Generation 4 is the Aura Pokemon himself, Lucario. I'll admit, I did not like Lucario at first. It wasn't until his introduction in Super Smash Bros. Brawl that I decided to try using him in the games, and I was missing out. This fighting steel type is my absolute favorite fighting Pokemon, and he may as well have been the mascot of the game. He is that awesome. Lucario became a central character in Pokemon X and Y, and was the poster Pokemon for Mega Evolution. And in Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS, he can use the Smash Ball to become Mega Lucario. And it doesn't end there. He will be a playable character in the new Pokémon Fighters game, a Pokémon fighting game in the style of Tekken. This Anubis-looking canine brawler has one of the sleekest designs and a Mega Evolution that highlights its best attributes. Plus, his Mega Evolution form has the rare ability Adaptability, which doubles its stab power. If you plan on getting in the ring with Lucario, you better be prepared. And there you have it, that concludes my top 10 favorite Pokemon from Generation 4. Did any of your favorites make the list? Do you have a top 10 favorite Pokemon from G4? Make sure to tell me in the comments below. If you guys liked this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up, and also go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. That way you can see all of our latest anime and manga reviews. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And make sure to stay tuned, we're almost done with Pokemon Month. We only have Generations 5 and 6 to go, so stay tuned for those.